A Forces Digital back here with another video and uh some more crazy myths that come out today. So Connecticut Attorney General is suing a Nacatuck user car dealership alleged business made false or misleading statement to consumer about the vehicle it sold. The official of Attorney General said Tuesday that because of the statement Better Way Wholesale Auto Industry made about this vehicle, consumer falsely believed they were getting cars that were expected safety and woe worthy as advertised. A Better Way Wholesale Auto failed to complete the document critical safety inspection that required by law. And see, this the problem right here, y'all. This is another problem. On my channel, I always talk about the we call that going over with cars and, and going over with cars and it's due to man manufacturing issue in which that is an issue. But we got to talk about the other side of the spectrum uh, as well because this right here be going on as well. That's why you, this is another part of, part of the reason why so many uh, incidents happen with your car because of stuff like this right here. Because the shady stuff that the car uh, dealership be doing. And this don't make no sense right here. The, uh, the, they appear to have sold damaged used car and hidden relevant information from consumer. Their egregious action are a clear violation of the state status that in the safety of their consumer and others on the road, the Attorney General William Tung said in a statement. We gave a better way every chance to work with us to clean up their act and to do what by their customers. But they failed, Tom said. We are filing this action today to hold them accountable for these deceptive practices. According to the new release, the attorney, the attorney general official opened an investigation into the dealership in 2021 after receiving complaints from the consumer who reportedly that the vehicle they purchased was not inspected prior to being sold. Consumer also said that they discovered soon after the sale that the vehicle had defective engine transmission and suspicion and other ma majority component, the attorney general said. See, go back what I'm saying again. See, and you wonder why all these, why some of these incidents happen on the road. This part of the reason why. It's not the full reason why, but it's part of the reason why. Stuff like this right here. This car just should all be shaming itself. And, and I don't know. Okay, let me continue reading. For the complaint mentioned undisclosed damage history of the accident of the flood damage attorney general official said. The new release said the used cars are required to undergo comprehensive safety inspection before being sold and any unrepair defect must be noted. Any vehicle sold as its condition must be marked as such and the purchase order, invoice, title, and assi assignment document must be marked with not in the condition for legal operation on the highway, the release said. The, the Attorney General official is seeking restitution for harm, consumer civil penalty for each violation of the Connecticut Unfair Trade Practice Act, and in injunctive relief forcing the dealership to comply with the state law. Y'all, this right here is, is a crazy mess. And it would be the first crazy mess that took place with these uh, car dealerships. You have some car dealership that been, that been caught doing their shady stuff. I mean, uh, I remember I did a video about a car dealership who just happened to run out of business when they shady behavior was being exposed about the old time and classic cars. The classic car dealership, they were the best case to do to due to action they was taking. So this way this ain't the first time you called this ship had been caught while high doing some scoop and stuff. I mean and not only that there have been other occasions where I had done videos uh shady actions of different car dealership over the time. And and sadly stuff like this has start to become the new norm. These top type of uh, instances with these car dealerships is, is happening more. It's happening more on the regular, which is sad to say, because it should be like that. But 
if there's an update on the store, I will update you or uh, come back and, and, and do another video, give you another update on the store if there is one. But it's this is just this is just a a, a shameful thing that's going on. And I don't understand why these car dealership feel the need to calm people in the way they are calm people. I mean they want they, you have some car dealership that was on the hot hot water for the way they was messing with the Adama media in other vehicles. I mean, and you have more than one of those instances took place as well. So, these shady car dealerships uh, and what they do, they've been putting stunts like this for a while now. And I'm glad in, 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 in Connecticut, they, they get caught right handed for what they've been doing. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section. If it's your content like this, Please make sure you subscribe, make sure you share the video and you will enjoy it. And I'll see y'all next time.